Okay, okay, so here, this chapel in front of us. So this is the most important chapel in the whole summer palace. Because this is the room for the Dalai Lama, the present Dalai Lama. So that's a room for him. Enjoy the show, the Tibetan Opera Dance. So the Tibetan Opera Dance, we're going to play on that ground. So they got a red mark, right? Red silver. So they are going to play inside here. So Tibetan that's the Tibetan traditional dance called Tibetan Opera Dance with a mask on the face. And then they are going to play this kind of dance. And that will be the longest dance in the world, maybe. Because it takes seven days to play that dance. From the early morning till evening, like that, for seven days they play it. So during, that was going to pay, play during the yogurt festival in Tibet. The yogurt festival, for us, we call, in Tibetan, we call it Shodun. Yogurt. Shod means yogurt, Dun means festival, right? Shodun festival. So that kind of festival are actually came from Debu Monastery. Debu Monastery, another big monastery in Tibet. So during the midsummer, it was start in midsummer, according to the Tibetan calendar. Today is the 23rd of December. Okay, so Yoga Festival is 1st July. 1st July of the Tibetan calendar. Okay, so during that time, the monks from that monastery, from that big monastery, it looks like the monastery that we visited yesterday. So all the monks during that time will not go outside. They only stay in their rooms. Not allowed for like one month, not allowed to go outside. The reason is, during that time, it's a rainy season in Tibet. So with the rain, a lot of insects are coming out from the cells, right? So if you go outside, so in an innocent way, they will going to kill a lot of insects, right? So that's why all the monks are not allowed to go outside for one month. So during that time, nothing to eat for them. So that's why local people from Lhasa, they bring the yogurt. Because not allowed to, to eat the meat during that time, it's vegetarian time. So that's why they bring the yogurt to the Devil Monastery to feed for all these monks. So since then, the yogurt festival in Tibet start. Okay, so during that time, from this monastery, they, are, they were also going to show up big tanga paintings on the mountain. See this. With this, the, with these festivals, slowly and slowly in Lhasa, it's become a big holiday festival. Now it's become like a family picnic in this garden here. Okay, in June, the, from the 1st July to the, till the 7th July, so it's a holiday for seven days for all the you know governors and officials, like teachers, and everyone got a seven days holiday. It's only in Lhasa, who are working in Lhasa only. Okay, during that time, all the family gathering, and they were going to spend a good time with family together, having a picnic all around here with their own tent for seven days. And all people were going to enjoy the show here. And then the show we're going to start, okay, with a line like that, all the way, okay, to that direction. And first, they are going to pray for the Dalai Lama. And then the show we're going to start. And in the end of the show, after seven days, with a burning of incense, and then with a pray, a big pray, and then the show ends, and the festival also ends since then. Okay, so that's a, one of the biggest festivals now in Lhasa. But uh, for the guides like me, it's a busy day to that time, no holiday. Okay, so that's why these dance are become uh, the favorite dance for the Dalai Lama. So the Dalai Lama we're going to enjoy from the middle um, window to enjoy this show during the old times. Okay? That's all. <laughs>